Come on. Yeah, smoke a zombie. You think you can get me? You think I'm gonna be worried? Yeah, nah, bro. You can't hurt me. Well, I mean, the smoker zombie can hurt you, obviously, by hitting you. But the smoke is their main weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Womp, womp, womp. I'm hesitant to go forward, because going forward means that we have to deal with them head on. Ah, you block some of the damage with your knife spear. Let's see how these guys are doing. Okay, we almost killed the zombie already, so let's go with killing the zombie. And now we'll get the smoker zombie. Yeah, goodbye. Now the smoke should clear up. It's a 2x4 there. Leather pants I will take because we can cut them up. And don't really want anything else there. The smoke will clear eventually. Uh, but for now, we're going to have to go around with... Fairly bad visibility. I do want the tin can of salmon. I do want the rain hood. I want that. A wood axe. Um, yes, don't mind if I do. T-shirt, no. Popular mechanics. I don't think I need that. I do want the ravioli. Um, in case you're wondering how it is that I'm able to tell what's there, I'm walking over it and it's going, hey, look at this stuff that's sitting here. Two tin cans of beans? Um, yes. Okay, so now we're overweighted. I'm gonna have to go back upstairs if I can find the exit. And we're going to turn off our flashlight. And we're going to go dump our, our gains into here, I think. So throw the leather pants and the rain hood in there. Oh, the wrench can sit in there too. Because we don't need it right this very second. Uh, the screwdriver as well, I think. And... The... Oh, why have I got a plastic bag? I don't know. The rocks and the tin cans. Because canned food will last forever. Or at least pretty much forever. Um, some things will rot by the nature of being, um, how would you say? Well, perishable, kind of. Like uh, clam chowder, I believe, is one of the things that will rot. Pickled herring will rot even if it's in a jar. Uh, soup, soup will go off eventually. A spray can and a tin of beans. Uh, yeah. I'll be taking that. A hot plate. Yes, please. And we'll grab both of those. Winter gloves. Nah. Downfield blanket. Sweater and hammer. Huh. Of course. Winter boots and a heat pack. Neko wafers. Drama novel on a heat pack. Heat packs are kind of nice. You don't really need them, though. Tin can of pick pickled herring. Yeah, I'll take that. Non-drowsy cough syrup. Uh, yes, just in case. Because getting a cold is quite bad. Tin can of soup. And I think that's just about it. Yeah, looks like it. Oop, almost missed a tin can. I know, I'm overburdened, but that's okay. I will dump it in a second. Just bear with me, game. Bear with me. You will eventually get pain from carrying too much stuff, but we were close enough to dump all of it fairly quickly, and so we didn't get that warning. Uh, two wrappers of peanut butter sandwiches. I Are they still fresh? They're still fresh, but we should eat them soon because they've lost the uh, they've lost the blue. So speaking of, yes, consume all of it. Nom nom nom. And we'll dump the paper wrapper and the plastic bag. We don't need either of them. The can can be useful because you might want to later on create grenades and such. 
that can be useful. Um, are we wet? Yes, we are. Use the towel. There were tailor kits down there. So I want to try and find them. You see here, more items. No. Come on. Alright, what if I turned on the flashlight? Do I have more visibility now? Okay. That's a bit better. Taylor. Taylor's kit to the northeast. Oh, and batteries. And the ballistic goggles. Taylor kit. And I will take the other mess kit, simply because we can grab the batteries out of it. And the other Taylor's kit is here. Excellent. Now, refresh it and show me everything else that is sitting down here. Tin can of beans. Yeah. I'll take it. Tin can of curry. What's this? This is perishable and it will eventually rot. It is a can of what? Spicy and filled with bits of pepper. Curry with meat, I guess? I assume that's what it is. I, I can't tell. Um, I don't know. Do we want to grab everything? Yes, so what clothing? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Where are you hiding? That is an excellent tailor's book. Where are you hiding? Two to the west. Thank you. Uh, no, I guess we should take all of the... Yeah, we should take all of it. We should grab as much of the food as we can. In fact... Food, I'm going to mark, if I can, I'm going to mark you as an auto pickup. Tin can of beans. Oops. And I'm going to mark you as an auto pickup too. Can tomato. Sure. Oops. Can tomato and curry with meat. To the southwest. I know, I know, I'm overburdened again, but it's fine. It's fine, really. It's cool. And can tomato we will mark as an auto pickup. And again, dump the food. All of you into there. So the tin can of curry with meat is probably one of those things that we'll have to eat fairly soon, otherwise it'll go rotten. The meat pizzas? Definitely. Actually, you know what? We should throw everything that's non-perishable. The plastic bag of uncooked hot dogs I'm not sure about. Oh, it is blue. But we should throw everything in there that doesn't need to be eaten straight away because that way we'll only have the food that we actually need to eat. Uh, what's what's in here? Firefighters helmets, okay. That'll be fine, we'll throw our tools in there too. So we'll throw the wood axe, and the hammer, and the tailor's kits, and no, the umbrella actually will keep. Put the mess kit in there. A military mess kit, what's the difference, I wonder? Let's actually find out. What is the difference? Military mess kit designed for long range reconnaissance patrols, yada 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 yada. Rather than. Oh, oh, okay. Doesn't look like there is much of a difference. Except that it holds more charges, maybe? No? No, there's not really a difference at all. I don't know. I am unsure. But we'll throw both of them in there because we don't need them right this very second anyway. And because of the brazier, we can just set up a fire anywhere and wear our gas mask and we'll be cool. We will be fine. Now, can we see... I don't know. I kind of want to head further south. Just on the off chance that there's a mansion in that forest. Because mansions, mansions are amazing. Mansions come with guns. Man mansions come with a library, usually. And they're one of the best places that you can find early on. I don't know. 
Joe will grab the clam chowder and pick up cans of stuff. Is there anything left in here that we kind of want? Yes, the first aid kit. Where are you hiding? Come here. Those things are amazing for uh, healing wounds, mainly when you get bitten. Usually you can sleep off whatever damage it is that was done to you, but sometimes you won't have the ability to just sit around and wait for that. So you want to hurry up and get stuff done. Okay, I think we're ready to go. That's, that's just about it. We got everything from there that we wanted. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm still holding the hot plate as well, I think. Yep. Ah, uh, no. Throw the hot plate in there. Uh, I'll keep all of these on me. For now. And I'll keep those. I'll throw the batteries in the... Yeah, I'll throw the batteries in there. And we are ready to go. Okay, I'm going to chance it a little bit. I'm going to head a little bit further south to see what's in that forest. And if there's nothing kind of good down this way, we'll go back to the north. But I want to give the forest a fair chance because there's so much good stuff in forests. There can be amazing things in forests. Come on. Be good to me. Have a thing. Have a, have a special thing for me. Pretty please. So far it looks like no joy. Which is unfortunate. But we haven't come across anything bad either. And that swamp looks like it's actually fairly small, so... South might not be the worst idea. I am tempted to go east. Because I want to see if that house is the outskirts of a larger town. So we'll go south a little bit more and then we'll turn back. I'm going to actually ignore the motel. Because we already have a fair bit of stuff. What is that? An engine. Great. Okay, a little tiny bit further, then we turn back. Damn it. Why? Why can't we have nice things? Okay, we've spotted a beastie. Time to turn around. And head back northwards. Come on, turn. Oh, you hear brush. Right, we need to power through that. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Did I break off a bit of my fire engine? I think I broke off a bit of my fire engine. I think I broke a... Did I break a wheel off? No. Okay, it just... Maybe looks a little bit different. Okay. So back we go. Uh, you might be wondering, but Grey Hunter, you said that you didn't want to go near the fungal flowers. Fungal flowers are bad, you said. Yeah, I did, but I'm hoping that if we go by and we get way the fuck away from those spiders as well, that uh, by passing the fungal bloom or the fungal flowers, which might be something completely different, I honestly don't know, um, by passing them, we might successfully avoid the nastiness that comes along with them, usually. Alright, I'm going to speed up because I know that the road is clear for a bit. Hitting an animal would be bad, but we can live with it. It won't cause guilt, which is a big deal. Uh, do we want to go back through town or just cut across the south side of it? I think cut across the south side of it. Actually, how are we doing on fuel? Okay, we're up to we're down to 10%. I really really hope that we find a gas station somewhere and it's getting dark. Damn. And our car doesn't have any headlights. Okay. We're going to spend one more night at the fire station. Mainly because 
I don't want to go too far into the distance. Actually, you know what? I'm whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna stop driving. I'm gonna grab the sewing book. If this is where I put it, maybe I'll put it in the other one. Put it. Oh, did I keep it? I kept it. Okay. Oops. We're gonna go grab our tent. And where's the other book that I want to read first up? Uh, I want to read the Handloader's Helper, so we'll grab that. We don't really need the pillow. We're gonna grab the tent, and the raw mat, the blanket, and the folded emergency blanket. And how much space have we got left to carry things with? Oh, a fair bit. So we'll grab, oh actually no, we need to take the brazier as well. I forgot about that. So give me the brazier. All right, we're all good and We'll take with us all about swords. No, under the hood. So under the hood will be quite useful to us. And we'll activate our flashlight just so we can see our way back. It's not that dangerous considering that we've basically cleared out this town. Wow, that is a lot of debris left over. Use mechanical winch. Yeah, that is, that is a lot of debris. And we're going to turn off our, our flashlight and activate the brazier. Start a fire. Because who doesn't like fires? Are we still wearing our gas mask? We are. Alright, let's drop that 2x4 in there. Activate the lighter. Oops. That's not the lighter. There we go. All right, now let's find out what this can teach us. It can take our tailoring skill to three. I think that means that we've already got all of the stuff it can get, uh, all of the stuff it can give us in terms of skill. But it will teach us to do all these other recipes. And these other recipes, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are very good, actually. Uh, let's see what the hand loader's helper can teach us as well. It can teach us a lot of gun stuff. Yes, it can. Uh, does it give a better description over here? Yes. Can bring your fabrication skill to six. Requires fabrication level three to understand. So this would probably be really, really, really good to read. Simply because of the, the double nature. And Crafts of Beginners is the one that gives us level three in fabrication, right? Yeah. And what are we currently at in fabrication? One. All right, well, let's read up. Under the hood could be useful, but I want to kind of wait off on that because we don't have a hacksaw, so it's not like we can actually use most of the skills from that. Uh, so we got to fabrication level two. Did that unlock anything for us in terms of recipes? I don't remember wooden fishing spear being there before, so that's good. The paint chipper. That was there before, but what would you ever want a paint chipper for? I don't even know. A jerry can would be something that we'd like to create. So to create a jerry can, you need a hacksaw and a screwdriver and a metal tank. Metal tanks are fairly easy to get because you can just grab them out of, uh, out of cars. That's what gas tanks are. So hopefully if we can find a hacksaw soon, we'll be able to create one. Can we... do we know how to create a hacksaw? No. That is unfortunate. Alright, well let's keep reading. Teach me all of your knowledge. You're feeling tired, stop reading. Uh, no, actually. No, not yet. Okay, we can't see to read. But we can fix that. Give me another 2x4. Give me two 2x4s, actually. And we'll drop the two 2x4s over there. 
and light them on fire again. But this time we're going to light them on fire so we can cook. Where are we? Are we going to cook? What have we got, actually? Uh, we should eat the peanut butter sandwich. Still thirsty. And we're full. Uh, we should probably drink some water. Delicious. Now we are slaked and we're a little bit tired. I think it's time to set up the tent. Set up tent. And set up raw mat. And we'll drop you. And activate you. And drop our emergency blanket there. So all in all, this has been a pretty pretty good day. Save the game before sleeping? Hell yes. Now hopefully we'll be able to sleep and wake up nice and early so we can head out in our fire truck towards the eastern edges of town. It's too bright to sleep, you wake up, that's good. It looks like we woke up really early. And we're slaked. Uh, we should probably finish off this cooked meat. Take down the tent, yes please. Grab all of the things, yes, I know there is a raw mat there. I just said grab all of the things. And we'll activate you. And everything else is already folded, cool, cool. Yes, there is a brazier, we'll take that with us. And let's get out of here, it's clear as well, which is good. That means it's not all wet and rainy. How are we doing? We're doing pretty good. We're not in pain. We're not overly heated. Everything's everything's pretty chill for us. We should probably take off that gas mask, though. Yeah, that's better. Now we can breathe. <laughs> Alright, cool. So let's dump all of this stuff. In you go, in you go, and in you go. And in you go. Shut that up. Uh, we'll hold on to everything else for now. Well, actually, we'll chuck the brazier in here. And we'll chuck the ballistic glasses in there too. We'll probably wear them eventually. For now though, uh, we'll drop that damn paper wrapper out the side. <laughs> Litter bug. All right, let's get going. Should be clear to turn. Oh, go around you. I don't think there's any other cars directly in our way. I think we're good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 car. Chill. Be cool. And we can eat some more stuff, so let's eat one of our meat pizzas. Yeah, that's okay. We'll drink a plastic canteen of water. Yes, we should be able to find more water up ahead. And let's just take a quick look, make sure there's nothing in our way. We should be good to go straight out, but I'm going to add another note. I'm going to make the note to here. I don't think the car was exactly here. We'll say solar car for solar panels later. Because eventually you will want to collect solar panels because you can make a solar battery bank and basically generate endless amounts of power simply through having a solar generator. Now where is that zombie at? You're a long way away, we don't have to worry about you. You're not a big deal. We're doing good on gas. Oh hello, where are you at? Oh you're a long way away, we don't have to worry about you either. Let's just continue on. It's possible that the zombie will catch up with us. And it sounds strange, but it's it's definitely possible for the zombie to catch up with us. Mainly because it will start running. And we're driving slowly because we're not particularly confident with driving. So we may have to deal with it. That's actually not what I wanted. Yeah, I wanted that. Ooh, a muffler. I believe you could make a silencer with a muffler. Yes. Alright, we are going to stop then, and we are going to collect that. And we should actually probably have 
created one of those last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, zombie. Hi. I will get to you in just a second. Be cool. Are there any bushes around? Actually, you know what? We can probably just take it in on you know, fair fight. Because we're doing pretty good. With the whole, uh... Ooh, hey, you've got stuff. With the whole melee combat thing. Now you stay away from me, dog. I don't want to have to deal with you. Mainly because if you make me, I will have to kill you. And I don't want to kill you, dog. I, I really don't. I want us to live in harmony. I would appreciate that. So far, so good. Haven't come across the thing that I was mainly worried about. Which is fungaloids. I suppose we are just passing the area where I would expect to see them. It's possible that they're further over this way. Uh, you'll notice that sometimes I'm not bothering to correct the car spinning out of control a little bit, and that's mainly because it's going the right way. So as long as it's going the right way, I'm, I'm not going to bother wasting the key press. How are we doing on driving, actually? We are doing pretty good. We're almost to level one. Oh, hello. Are those what I think they are? Gun stores. I happen to have a sledgehammer. A grocery store. Excellent. Okay. We're going to have to deal with a lot of zombies over here, most likely. But, 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 this is the important but. Supplies. In particular, gun supplies. Hello, smoker zombie. I see you. Where are you? You're a long way away. But at least you're outside this time, so we won't have to worry so much about the the uh, smoke getting trapped inside. There's also a bank, it looks like. I think that's a bank, or is that just an office? No, it's a bank. Banks can have some good stuff in them. All right, so where exactly are you, zombie? Smoker zombie is at the curve in the road, so we should probably stop right about here and get out. Now, have we got anything that we don't need to take with us? Anything that is superfluous? Yes. We don't need you, we don't need you, we don't need you, we don't need you. I kind of want to keep the muffler, just for a second. Don't need the can. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need this. Um, don't need the antibiotics. The food, most definitely, the gas mask, hell yes. Cash cards? Actually, no, I will keep them, because you can sometimes find vending machines for ammunition, strange as that might sound. Um, Alright. Yep, we put all of that stuff into the... Oh, into the seat? Oh, it does have storage space. Huh, how about that? Um, if I want to create... a suppressor... What would I need? A pipe. Oh, and a tool with fine metal soaring, of course. I'm an idiot. I forgot about that. That was the whole reason I couldn't use it. I wanted to make a I wanted to make one and I couldn't because I didn't have a, a hacksaw. Well, I'm hoping that we'll find one. Yeah, I see you there, smoker zombie. I, I know. I'm aware. I'm coming to kill you. It's okay. I'm aware of your existence. 